Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tarr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Blue Yeti microphone on the M1 Mac. So this is my M1 MacBook Air 2020. This tutorial is going to apply for most modern Macs and any Apple Silicon Mac as well. All we're going to do now is to unbox the Blue Yeti and then make it work on the MacBook Air. So to unbox this, I'm just going to take the top off. I'm just going to pull out the microphone from the box like so. So now I'm just going to take off this packaging for the box. At the top here we have the mini USB cable. So this is a kind of an older cable and it's uh, perfectly good for carrying audio data and it's quite thick and robust. So we'll put this to the side. This is the manual here. And then the microphone itself. So I'm going to remove this plastic wrapping and then we have the microphone stand. Basically what I'm going to do is just align it like this and then tighten it like so, so that it's kind of facing towards us. I'm just going to tighten this so that is facing up. So there's uh, nothing else in the box so we can just get that out of the way. So in order to install this all we need to do is to unwrap the mini USB cable. And now we have the mini USB cable ready to go. So what we can do here is just basically flip this down and then we're going to insert the mini USB cable into the bottom here. And then this side is going to plug it into our computer, which we'll do so in a minute. I'm going to put this back and then tighten it even tighter. So now I'm just going to put this to the side a little bit. And then with our MacBook, we have the ports on the side here. So this is called a USB-A cable. This end is the mini USB. And with the modern MacBook, we need a USB-C adapter. So the mini USB adapter that I prefer is this one called Alen. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You can buy these from Amazon. You can also use a full USB-C hub if you want to plug lots of other peripherals in. I'm going to be showing you with this small adapter because this is one of the simplest ways to plug this in. So you plug in the USB-A into there and then the USB-C end into here. And then we're just going to plug that in there. And you can see what once I've plugged that in, you can see this mute button power is turned on. Once I've plugged in my Blue Yeti microphone, what I can do is go to my laptop, log into the computer, click on the Apple logo on the top left, go to system preferences, and then click on the sound settings here. And once I'm in the sound settings, if I go to the input tab, then I can see all of the audio inputs that this computer has. For example, here we have MacBook Air microphone. So that's the internal microphone of the laptop. We don't want to use that. We want to use the much higher quality USB Blue Yeti microphone. And if I select Yeti stereo microphone here, then it's actually picking up my voice. So you can actually hear this. You can see the input level is increasing here. If I do a kind of click with my fingers, you can see that is appearing on the screen there. So that's all being picked up correctly. This is basically how you install the Blue Yeti microphone on a computer like this. If, for example, we use an application like Zoom, we can just go to the Zoom preferences and when we go to audio and we can select the microphone here. So I've got my Blue Yeti, so I've got my Yeti stereo microphone selected here. So when I'm next in a Zoom meeting, it's going to pick up the Yeti stereo microphone here. If you want this microphone picked up in Skype, all you need to do is to go to the Skype preferences on the Mac, click on the audio and video section here. And then we can scroll down and then we can select the specific device. So I can go to the Yeti stereo microphone and then the Yeti is the one that's going to be used for the Skype call. So just to be aware about some very basic settings, we have the gain levels here. So often you want to turn this up to about the middle and then that's kind of the, the correct gain level there. And then also we have what are called the cardioid patterns. These patterns are best explained by the manual here. So basically we have a, an all around frontal kind of pattern here. Then we have um, an, an omnidirectional pattern. And then the most popular one that I like to use is this one, which only picks up the, the kind of front pattern. So it won't pick up noises from the back of the microphone. And then this one is for kind of interview mode for when you're sitting in front of the camera and someone's sitting behind the camera, then you'll want to turn on that pattern. For most content users and for video calls, etc., I would recommend using this one. So I would use this pattern here, and that was gonna determine what kind of sounds will be picked up by the microphone you'll have less sound from the back and more sound from the front. And so that's why the positioning of the microphone is kind of important too. So the, the positioning is really from the front here, the cardioid pattern, well, this is the front. So that cardioid pattern is the best one for kind of placing this microphone in front of you here, like we're doing now. Another handy tip as well is if you want to do a screen recording and you want to select the microphone, then one shortcut to do is called Command Shift 5. 
and then this will bring up this toolbar. So this is the Screenshots app technically. What you can do is click on the Options section here and then select the Yeti stereo microphone and then you can have the Record Entire Screen section there and then this will do a screen recording and then also pick up the microphone. And so once you're ready to record, you just, you just click anywhere on the screen with the camera icon on and then that will create a recording. And then you'll see here, there's a new kind of uh, stop button here. So when you press that, that will stop the recording entirely. I'm just gonna do a quick test of the different microphones. So the one I'm speaking from now is the DJI microphone. So this is the one that is part of the Pocket 2 wireless microphone. And uh, you can pick up my voice, it's on my lapel. I've got the gain turned up a little bit. I'm just gonna speak some sentences just to do a comparison. So I'm gonna say, oak is strong and also gives shade. 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 So this last part of the video, I am speaking directly into the Blue Yeti microphone. I'm using the front-facing cardioid pattern and it's doing a direct screen recording of my computer. I do quite like the Blue Yeti microphone. It's one of the most common content creator microphones, probably a good kind of beginner, mid-range microphone to use. I find it perfectly good for the things that I use it for. And as you can see, it's perfectly compatible with the Mac. There's no drivers required or we, the only kind of semi-complicated thing is that we need a USB-C adapter, which everyone should own. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.